Microsoft has recently rolled out Windows 11 KB527397 cumulative update or you can say Windows 11 23H2 update to all users with lots of new features. Those users who own Windows 11 23H2 supported devices can head over to Windows update setting page. From there, they can download and install the same update. On the other hand, if users with unsupported devices try to check for update, then Windows 11 KB527397 won't appear. Also, if you try to update to Windows 11 23H2 on unsupported devices using Windows 11 23H2 ISO image, then it shows message this PC doesn't currently meet Windows 11 system requirements, which is normal. If you landed on this video, then it's possible that uh, you definitely want to update your PC to Windows 11 23H2, but unable to do that as it won't appear in Windows update or seeing the message discussed recently. In this video, I will show you quick hack using which you can easily upgrade your PC with unsupported hardware from Windows 11 22H2 to 23H2 using ISO image that is downloaded from Microsoft website. So without further delay, let's learn how to do that. Before we move forward, we are trying to hit 10,000 subscribers on YouTube. Please consider subscribing to channel so we continue making such content. If you made up to this part of the video, then I presume that you have already uh, downloaded Windows 11 23H2 ISO image. If don't, then I have already created a video on how to do that. So check the link in the description. You can clearly see in about your PC setting page that my PC running Windows 11 22 H2, right? Okay, let's start with the first step. Double click on the Windows 11 23 H2 ISO image to mount it. This will create another drive in File Explorer. Next, open that drive and copy all the Windows OS files inside it. After that, head over to Windows installation drive which is C drive usually. Open it. Here, you need to create a new folder with the name Win11 or Windows 11 or something similar depending on your preference. I suggest you to make it short and simple. Open the folder that you have created and paste all the Windows OS files that you have copied in earlier step. It will take few seconds. Once all the files are copied into the folder, you need to open command prompt with admin rights. For that, Click on the search icon and type cmd. When command prompt appears in the search results, click run as administrator. When you see dialog box appear, click yes to continue. In the command prompt window, you need to type this command cd space backslash and hit enter. Next, you need to type cd space win11 or windows11 or whatever name you have given to the folder. After that, backslash sources and hit enter. I have created folder name windows 11 so my command will be cd space windows 11 backslash sources. Next you need to type setuptrap.exe space forward slash product space server and hit enter. Wait for few seconds and this will run the windows 11 setup automatically. and you will see this dialog box. The window that open will show you that this will install Windows Server. Don't worry, ignore it. The setup will automatically install addition that your PC is running already. For example, if your PC is running Windows 11 Pro 22H2, then it will automatically upgrade to Windows 11 Pro 23H2 and if it's home, then it will upgrade to home. Now click on the link that reads change how setup downloads updates and select not right now option. Selecting this will make the upgrade process shorter. Also, as we have downloaded the latest version of Windows 11 23H2 ISO, so we don't need to check for updates. After I click on the next button, in the next screen, you will notice that setup will bypass PC minimum requirement screen and prepare the PC for upgrade. Once ready, you will see a notice and license term page. 
click accept. On the next screen, choose what to keep. I'll go with default option that is keep files, settings and apps. In case this option is grayed out and you have only option that is keep personal files only, then it's possible that you have downloaded the ISO with different language as compared to the one installed already on the PC. For example, if you have already installed Windows 11 with language that is English US, then you need to download Windows 11 23H2 ISO with English US and perform this trick. Once done, click next button. On the next screen, click on the install button. Now this will start the installation and upgrade process to Windows 11 23 H2. The process will take 30 to 40 minutes or maybe less or more depending on your system requirements. During the upgrade process, the system will reboot automatically few times. To make this video short, I am fast forwarding the process. Once upgrade process completes, you will be presented Windows 11 lock screen. Hit enter and log into your PC either by typing password, PIN or biometric authentication. Now this will start setting up your Windows 11. At last, you will reach Windows 11 home screen. Now if I open about your PC setting page, you can clearly see that it's upgraded to version 23H2. Now that upgrade process completed successfully, you can head over to C drive and delete the folder that you have created initially to save storage. So that's all about this video. This is how you can upgrade from Windows 11 22H2 to 23H2 on PC with unsupported hardware. Why don't you try this trick and if you have any query related to this video, feel free to ask in the comments. If you find this video useful, don't forget to like this video and subscribe the channel for similar videos. Thanks for watching.